Hey Aries, welcome to my channel and welcome to your upcoming weekly read. I am thrilled to do this for you guys. I've missed you guys a lot. I, I took two weeks off. Uh, first it was going to be one week and then my energy said, no, Michelle, you need another week. So there you go. Um, my plate has been quite full as of late through crazy changes and I'm sure it's not any different than you, but let's take a look and see what's happening and uh, see if we can't make it even better for you here. Okay. So what is going on for Aries? We're going to pull an overarching energy and then I'll get into what you need to know most now, uh, any sort of advice from spirit, of course, and work and career, money and finance, you know, whatever wants to come up surrounding that. And then we'll close it out with love. Okay. And what's happening there. So what does Aries need to know most this upcoming week that's going to reflect on all of the spreads that we do here today? Uh, what does Aries need to know most? Spirit? Ooh, that came right out. Okay. Oh, this is so beautiful, guys. So what I'm getting here is uh, this is really talking about the 12th house energy. And I like this because this all has to do with your spirituality. And it also has to do with a lot about your creativity, okay? So it's uh, spirituality and art, okay? So this could be that you are, it's kind of like, doesn't it seem like she's just basking in the warmth? and the insights from the divine, you know, from the galaxy, she's taking in all that wisdom, right? And, uh, and she's, she's letting it soak in. Okay. So this could be talking about any sort of uh, maybe healing issues, uh, a divine connection, uh, maybe that you're focused in on art and inspiration, or just your spiritual life in general. This could also indicate psychological, you know, challenges of any sort of thing. Um, and it could be maybe you're escaping from the world and you need to focus on the subconscious and um, in your spirituality. Maybe you're into the paranormal stuff, um, whatever that, that's, this is what this card brings about. So it, it's quite interesting. Now it could be that, that this card is telling you to because she's looking at the star and it's about listening to your dreams, whatever it is that your North Star is. So listening to your dreams, um, it is really talking about the house of Pisces. So it is about um, healing and spirituality. Okay. It does, it does want you and what I'm getting here is watch out uh, for any sort of, um, you know, addictions is something might be coming up or addiction tendencies. And, and this is just saying, it doesn't, it just means to kind of watch out for, you know, so you don't fall back in an older pattern um, of something that you've actually made quite a few strides on. Uh, okay. But listen to your dreams, listen to your intuition is one of the key things coming out. And, and maybe you're focusing in on psych, you know, psychology and spirituality. And, you know, if, if you're going through some sort of shift in change, the silence here is, is pivotal. So it's saying, you know, take that moment of silence and it's really going to help you. Okay. Um, so really talking about what, what areas in your life, um, you know, uh, are you unrealistic and easy to fool is one thing coming through what this card talks about. And do you give yourself enough time to retreat? And if not, you know what camp that you're on and it wants you to follow that. Okay. I'm going to pull another card because I want to see if anything else wants to uh, shine through to um, let's just take a look. Okay. That one wanted to come out severing ties. So you might need a break because you've severed ties in a situation and you need some emotional, uh, spiritual and physical healing. Right. And uh, so I feel that, uh, uh, it, it, it's for some, some reason it, it's it, maybe that you've been neglecting that. Okay. Um, maybe that has to do with, uh, severing ties, something I'm getting. Now, this is not for all of you, but what I'm getting here is abandonment. And for some reason, I don't typically want to go there, but I feel that that rest is necessary because of severing of ties and it might bring something around, you know, as it pertains to that. Okay. Uh, let's pull one more card. Uh, I'm just curious. In fact, I'll pull it from here. Let's just pull one more card and see if there's anything else. Dream state. Okay. Uh, so there, yeah, see just what we talked about in this dream state, there's going to be community, you know, there's going to be communications, energetic exchanges, you know, within the, uh, uh, you know, on this, on the soul level and, and in the 5D. So that's, that's exactly what this card talks about. Okay. So maybe that you need to give yourself enough time to rest or enough time to heal in some sort of way. So let's dive in. We'll keep this up here. Let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at what is coming out for you uh, as it pertains to 
you know, what spirit wants you to know most, but what is also most important for you now. Okay. So that, that combination. So what does Aries need to know most, especially right now, any sort of uh, advice that you want to, that wants to come through? Wow, guys. All right. I'm going to read everything kind of straight up because I want to, I want to really direct read. Um, and, uh, I'll pull some clarifiers as need be. So what I'm getting here is the nine of cups. You know, it's, it's so interesting Aries because Remember like that North star following your North star. What is your dream? Right? So I feel that some of you are really manifesting what it is that you want. And what do you get? The nine of cups manifestations coming true. Okay. So there's something, something that you have wanted and it's something that you've already dreamed of because you get dreaming here, dreaming here. And then it, it's just all, and I'm just getting into wishing on a shooting star. Uh, and then I also get seeing the world differently. And it's like your whole world lights up. You see the candles, there's lighting up. And so I feel that there's some sort of dream that has come to fruition and it's a cornucopia. And it's something that you can thank spirit for because she's kind of like rising with the spirit thinking, thank you so much for this opportunity, for this dream. It's going to make you emotionally very happy is what I get. So it may, it's going to make you fly high. It's coming to fruition because it's a nine and it makes you feel good in terms of your emotions. And it could be after, you know, perhaps some sort of disappointment with the eight of cups. So it's kind of like you walked away from something and um, now you're presented. It's kind of like you presented, you had a wish and, and something's coming true. And even if it's, this is, let me just say, say this for a minute. If you had a wish and there's something that didn't work out, it worked in your favor. If you are, if you currently right now, if you're in your dream state, you had to leave something, severing ties to go through some healing so you could get your wish and see the light of day and actually see things clearly. So now you see things clearly. And this is a gift. This is some sort of gift here. Okay. So let's take a look at anything else that might want to come through. Uh, anything else that spirit wants you to know most that's going to be important for you here. What do we get? What do we get? What is coming through here for you? Yeah. The eight of cups is coming through again. You know, right under the eight of cups is the eight of cups. So there was a deep dive of emotions that you had to go through here. And you, it, you had some time where you went within to get that wise counsel to overcome any sort of obstacles with Virgo energy, uh, with that hermit energy. And give me one more. Yeah. And now you're able to kind of see the light of day. It's kind of like, you know how the whales that they go and they dive deep and then they come right back up. I feel that that's kind of what you're doing. It's a, uh, I know there's a name for that and I can't think of it. So note your, uh, note it in the comments, guys. I can't think of the breach. I, I, it's something of the sort, but in any event, this is about moving on into uh, the the waters that are calmer for you after going within and after the emotional kind of you know craziness. Um, but I do feel that what is coming through here is the clarity that you've wanted and and things being a lot more clear, and you see the world differently. I feel you see the world differently, and it's about reaching for what you want. Would you get? Yep. Now you see the world differently and it's like how to manifest. So it's kind of like, um, it's like before you, do, you, you were gone through the resting period and now it's time to take in, in maybe that you've had to take this kind of get your dreams, get things clarified about what you want to manifest and, and, and get this, this calmness that comes over you after there has been some sort of, uh, I get abandonment, you know, of some sort for some of you. And again, we just, we talked about that earlier. But I feel that this is now you are reach knowing that your dreams are within reach and it wants you to manifest it. It's done. Uh, it wants you to, uh, you know, see yourself as having it. Take that inspired action, Aries. Know that it is done and have fun in the meantime, knowing that you're aligned and get ready to receive. See, the hardest thing sometimes is to, you know, focus on the manifesting, but you never step back to order to receive because you're so busy manifesting that same thing again and again. And that's not trusting the universe has your back. The universe does have your back here. Okay. And that's what this is talking about. So that's your message from spirit. Okay. 
Uh, and I think that you just really had to be in, in, in focus in on loving you and getting clear of what you wanted. Okay. Now let's take a look and see what wants to come through in terms of, uh, let's take a look. I'll put these back in and let's take a look at what is coming out for your career in finance for Aries. What is coming out for career and finance for Aries that is most important for Aries to keep in mind? Uh, career and finance. Okay. Uh, give me two more cards for Aries. Uh, Spirit, any sort of advice? Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so crazy. Ah, I'm glad I put the other cards back in right too. So we're going to read these again straight up. But you know what I'm getting? A wish coming true. So if some of you in your career, you've got something that's going to put you on the rise, okay? And it's it's coming out a second time. Spirit brought it out for you on what you need to know that a dream is coming true and it's coming out in your career and finance. So for some of you, you are doing what you love you're loving what you do and it is helping you rise higher. Now it could be that you might be, uh, there is blessings when you connect with spirit and source regarding your finances and your, your career and your money. I do get that if you work with others, the three of pentacles, that teamwork and collaboration, that it's going to really help. Okay. I think it's going to really help you. So I feel that uh, teamwork and collaboration, you have something to bring to the table with the three of pentacles. And I, I also get to the queen of pentacles, but it's in the back side of that. So it could be that, I don't know if you've got a, a, a earth sign around you that you're turning your back on, uh, or this is could be um, an opportunity. This could be like... Um, you know, because this is about being nurturing and, and focusing in on being practical, you know, make sure that, that what you're, what you are bringing to the table, this is being practical. It does want you to work with others. So there's something about working with others and bringing your gift to, to us. It's almost like you're bringing your spirituality gift into the gift, whatever it is that you do. Let's get a little bit more on this. Okay. Uh, give me anything more about this three of pentacles, teamwork and collaboration for Aries. Uh, and this comes through birthing a rebirth. So you get uh, the star card Aquarius. Maybe you are dealing with an Aquarius and you are presenting something to an Aquarius. Now this could be a contract. This could be maybe something that you're working on that you need to deliver uh, for some sort of rebirth. Okay. And um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. And it's about new inspiration. Whatever it is, I will tell you, Aries, it brings forth new inspiration. Remember that North Star? Well, it's the same thing again that you're, you've got right here that you're dreaming about here. So I feel that to get that, to have this right in the middle, teamwork and collaboration, spirituality and art, you might be doing something very creative uh, to bring something to light. And you get messages through your dream state. All right. So that's what I'm getting. Uh, major kind of birthing something new. Anything more that wants to come out? Yep. Put in the work. So this is putting in the day to day work step by step. It doesn't mean you have to do everything all at once. You know, the night of pentacles is, is slow moving night. And if you need to take your time through whatever it is you need to present or what you're bringing about a new product, um, you know, maybe that you're doing uh, something you have to, you know, uh, bring forth in terms of getting your dream coming true. Um, you have to submit something, um, whatever that looks like. Some of you could be a resume. Some of you could be a project that you're working on. Um, but this is saying, take your time with it, because if you take your time and go slow, it's going to help you win the race here. So take your time. Don't feel like you have to be rushed. Okay. Is what I'm getting. Uh, and anything further that uh, will be important for you. Let's take a look at what that might be. Uh, anything further that wants to come out for Aries in terms of your career in finance. That's important. Okay. So something about that is, is key. Okay. Uh, what is this uh, nine of cups? What's coming true? What's uh, coming through here for uh, Aries? What does this wish come true? Well, this flipped over. Okay. This is about, this is about uh, focusing in on plentifulness. All right. So after some sort of Again, we get that abandonment that, that after you're, you're coming out of in sort of some sort of impoverished state and going in, look at moving beyond this, moving beyond the five of pentacles and going into this wealth and the princess of pentacles. Look at this. This is where the star, you know, there's something about the star, guys. The star's right above her. You're still going for your North Star. You have it. You've got the confidence. 
and now you've got this this blooming of wealth and and nature it's like nature immersion is all around you and you're emerging yourself into that and you're getting you're co-creating so it's a princess of pentacles is this earth energy you're putting in the work with this all this earth energy and you're getting a wish come true so there's something that's really coming true that's fantastic uh, anything more what do we get being love so this is like saying exude love in all that you do like attracts like so if you love what you do Others are, you know, and this is saying is that you are going to attract others who love what you do as well. But what was key is about loving yourself is going to be very, very important. Any final uh, advice in terms of career and finance? It wants you to have the courage, guys. It wants you to have the courage to make the bold move. You, you're being asked to take action now, okay? You're being asked to take action in your career. Whatever it is, take those steps. It is going to pay off guys. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and put this aside and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what is coming out for you in love. All right. So what's coming out for Aries? Let's put these back in the deck. What's coming out uh, for Aries uh, regarding their love life? What wants to come through in their love life? What's coming out for Aries? Uh, what does Aries need to know most in terms of their love life? What is key for you? Okay, what do we got? Yeah, anything? Okay, all right. So what do we get here? Ooh, okay. So let's just hold on a second. So we've got the King of Pentacles. Give me anything more for Aries in their love life. Uh, and the King of Wands. Ooh, now that could be you taking on that energy, you know, as well. Um, so I get a lot of leaders here. This is coming up. And Clarity. Ooh, you guys. So I'm getting, this is like the backside of the King of Pentacles, which is very focusing on, on business, uh, you know, focusing in on uh, being that leader, that boss figure. You might be turning your back on being like some, something is, is, is someone is kind of like turn their back on something. Give me a card on this to clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse, because what I'm getting here is that, um, this person is, is here, let me just get the card and see what it says. This person wasn't paying attention. So something's coming to fruition regarding the king of pentacles. And it has to do with a uh, cancer Scorpio Pisces. So I feel that someone's turning their back on something that they, uh, uh, some sort of loss. And I do feel the queen of pentacles comes through. It's so both the backside. I almost feel if you've been dealing with someone who might have another connection, it's, it's, it's like you've come to some sort of realization and you're chalking it up as a loss. Now, this could be for some of you that there, there was maybe someone you're involved with and found out that there was another partner involved in that. And you're putting an end to that. It's coming to fruition in the, in the mind. It's kind of like you're, it's putting an end to that. I just get water, I've got water, earth, and air coming through, okay? Whatever it is, it's coming to fruition. So it's kind of like you're chalking it up as, okay, that's fine. And what are you doing? And now this is focusing in on, um, this is temperance. Yeah, focusing in on balancing things out. It's like almost like you couldn't balance things out with the way, with the way that the connection or situation was, um, you know, grounded in. So something it was could have been another another party that was involved within this, but I get Sagittarius energy. So it's kind of like having this strength, remember that courage to see the bigger picture and to know that you would be walking into, you know, kind of like a hanging place if, you know, if you didn't let this go uh, in something. And this could have been a connection or situation. Now it could be that it just wasn't the right timing. Whatever the case, it wasn't the good, it was the arrangement wasn't it wasn't the best, it wasn't an arrangement that you could work with in some sort of way. And then I get you kind of bossing up. Now it could be that you're dealing with a, a you know, fellow fire sign, but you could be taking on this masculine energy of the king of, of wands, being that business owner, creativity and getting the clarity. So for some of you, if you were in a connection, I feel you, you've been crowned with the clarity of the mind and you knew that your strategy was to, that you had to, you had to exit because it's almost like you didn't have a choice here. Uh, give me anything more on this that's important uh, for Aries to keep in mind. And what do we get? Yeah, this is the uh, Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles uh, in the reverse. So this is coming up again. 
And this is about um, nine of wands, persevering. Queen of Pentacles, give me one more card. What do we get? Making a judgment on something. So I feel that there is a judgment in terms of persevering on something and someone's turning their back on it. Now, this could have been you or the other person, but a judgment was made. Yeah, obviously, because there's clarity that's been done. And I just feel that you're right smack in the middle of all of this. So I feel that that is, is you, you know, since you're right smack in the middle of this, like the rocks were falling down. You just knew that the form, the foundation wasn't stable enough. So that, that decision was made. So who's coming towards you right now? Let's just take a look. Who's coming towards you in love? Who's coming towards uh, Aries in love? What do we get? Let's take a look. I think you're, you, it's kind of like you are putting in, you're putting in the work. Like, it's kind of like, I think you're, I know a lot of you are focusing in on your career, but let's take a look. Give me a few more cards. Anyone that's coming towards Aries that Aries needs to be aware of. What do we get? Next person coming towards Aries. What do we get for Aries? Wow. Well, it flew through. Oh my gosh, you guys, look what's coming through again. Ah, oh, you got the clarity. You got the clarity of putting a lot of work into something. You got the clarity. Give me one more card. And you got a lot of choices. I think you're getting, you know what? You were waiting for something to come to fruition. All right. And um, it, it's kind of like maybe that there, um, and you're not going to wait anymore. And I feel that this is, I have to say this first and then I'll go into the other read, uh, the other side of what I'm getting here. But I feel that you were kind of waiting for something to come to fruition and you, because you see the world differently but you are out, you're getting out of the illusion and fantasy. Um, like that, just like that. Um, and I was going to say this is for the other person, but this could be another, the other person as well that was waiting for something to come to fruition and they got clarity and they're getting out of the illusion. So then what? So if this is what's happening, I think you both are mirroring each other, but this is, this person's getting out of the illusion and fantasy of something. And then what do I get? Nine of Pentacles, coming out of the Nine of Pentacles and ready to make progress in a situation. Uh, and what else do I get after some sort of heartbreak? So someone has been through something similar than you. Um, and they're ready to make progress on something. And they had to focus in on being in gratitude for everything that they have, uh, making progress after some sort of heartbreak. So this person has come out of something. And what else does Aries need to know about the person coming towards them? And, I'm, I, and I'll get into the signs in a minute, but give me more on this. In fact, I'm going to use this deck. Give me more because I want to see, I want to see if anything comes through uh, on a repeated instance. Yeah, this person had to get uh, some sort of rest and go into some sort of hibernation. After some, look at the five of swords, after some sort of conflict. All right. So they are coming out of something. And, oh, I get the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Nine of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. I feel that this person got out. It could have been that this person got out of some sort of marriage. They've gone through a divorce. I'm just telling you. I get uh, I get air energy, earth energy, and um, I do get uh, some water as well. And a little bit of fire, okay? But this person has gone out of some sort of divorce. And now they've got new vibrancy within them. Leo energy. So now, you know, you get the Ten of Pentacles and the Sun card. This person has new vitality within them. How will you know? How will you know this person? Uh, how will you know the person coming towards you, Aries? How will you know this person? They're going to be very affectionate, okay? They're the type of person that kind of has like that open display of love. And it's about paying attention to each other's needs, okay? That's going to be like the fulcrum. That's going to be something that's going to be very key in this, okay? What else? Uh, give me one card that's coming out, like how Aries will know this person. And I do get that uh, they uh, that they will be, it's kind of like they're very skilled. Um, they're skilled in terms of, um, I don't know. Um, I feel that they were could have been manipulated in the past or there was manipulation that played a role in the past. And then what? And then what? Give me, give me anything more that's important for Aries. Too many cards. Give me, um, give me one more card. But I feel that they were manipulated in some way, or there could have been manipulation in a situation. But now it's cooperation. There's an opportunity where two parties are gonna, 
set aside differences and, and come together and collaborate. I feel that this person, you knew this person and maybe that they were married, but now they're getting out of something and now they're being able to come through. Now they're, they could have been in a very close relationship as well, but um, now it's all about cooperation. So guys, I'm going to leave it there. If you want a personal read, note your call, you know, definitely click the link in the description box below. Uh, but other than that, I hope this helps you guys in some way. And I'm sending you so much love and light until next time. Namaste.